Yeah? Well, my dad was always angry at me, and look at how I turned out, pal. Welcome back to a Wretched. Dad, if you are being perpetually angry in whatever form, very overt or very subtle, maybe you are not seeing the effects on your child because you're blinded to them. If your child is an introvert, they're probably stuffing it down inside of them. If your child is an extrovert, they're probably acting out on it on the athletic field. They've always got to win. They get annoyed when they get tagged on something. And you're not seeing that angry because, well, you look just like them. Maybe you are not seeing the effects in your child at an early age. But I promise you, you will as they get older. Uh, this is from Rick Thomas talking about the angry dad. You are the primary person in your child's life to affirm your affection and approval of him or her if you are harsh, picky, unkind, uncharitable, unloving, or disapproving in any way. Then you are sending a strong message to him that he does not measure up to the standard. And as he grows older, there is a 100% chance he will look for approval in all the wrong places. I'm not very good at math, but 100% means it's going to affect your child. So exactly how will this manifest itself in your child's life if you are the angry dad, or I need to sneak this in, mom too? Here's a list from Rick Thomas. Legalistic, religious environments become a haven for those craving approval. Because dad is always angry, because the child always feels like he doesn't measure up, he will be inclined to find himself in a religious system of, I've got to climb myself up. I've, I've got to do. I've got to earn my heavenly father's approval. And they will find themselves in some of these ridiculous movements where it's constant fasting, because you have to, constant praying, because you better, because it's a legalistic system. And it really taps into those people who have viewed their earthly father as being one who is never affirming of them the way their heavenly father is. Here is another effect of angry dads. Teenage love seems to be the perfect place to get your approval drive stroked. You don't want your child to lose his or her virginity. Okay, stop being an angry dad. Number Five, manifestation, running with the wrong crowd does not seem wrong if they will accept you. Uh, maybe you've seen that kid in church. They just, man, their home life, everything was perfect, and now they're like a gang. Did you see that boy? I ran into him at the mall. He's got like a piece of metal through his nose, and he's hanging out with the riffraff, which is how we used to talk in the 20s. What happened to that kid? Maybe angry dad caused him to flee to someone Anyone who say, you're a part of the group. How many times do we see these reports on inner city kids who don't have a dad, who maybe don't have a mom? Where are they inclined to go? To a gang. And you go, a gang? What is, what, what's the matter with you? Knock, knock, head. They get affirmed there because they didn't get affirmed anyplace else. Number four from Rick Thomas, choosing a gay lifestyle seems wise. If being approved is the result, can't get it from dad. They'll get it from somebody who approves them and is loving toward them if you're not. Number three from Rick Thomas. Pornography is a rejection-free world where you can be gratified physically and mentally. Dad, you don't want your child looking at this stuff, but he might be inclined to go running in that direction just because, uh, okay, it just makes me feel better because you never provide that for your son or daughter. Number two, effective angry dads, drugs and alcohol make for easy escapes from disapproving parents. And finally, number one, even our greatest strengths become our greatest weaknesses when used for the applause of others. They'll take something good, a perfectly good gift, and they will use it for something very, they're good at track. They use it to run away from the police, whatever. They will find affection, affirmation, love, and acceptance anywhere else if it doesn't come from you. Have you failed, Dad? Might I encourage you, don't do this alone. Do it in community. Start talking to men in your church. And remember this, Dad, for every single time that you have failed, Jesus died for that sin too. And let that knowledge that Jesus died for your anger move you to not being angry with your children.